have you ever been there and you actually don't know what's going on in your life you don't know what the you are doing with your life and you don't know what direction it's going in like you don't know what you're doing with your life yes that's me hi my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's easter week hope you're all having an amazing easter week on today's episode of hashtag let's talk the gray space after campus crickets <laughs> actual crickets because honestly i feel like the gray space after campus is basically like crickets campus um that's mostly common used in uganda to mean like after university so that's basically the life after uni or after um campus as we usually call it so you'll find me switching phrase like back and forth the phrases so let's get back to the point the gray space after campus you guys i don't know if it's just me but i feel like you know how you feel like this is just my story it's more like a story time let's talk kind of thing so you know how you feel like you have planned i'm such i'm not such a planner i'm trying to be a planner but I like to have things figured out in time you know especially to do with my life and where i want to be at at certain ages and certain places so i thought i had it all figured out hmm? like you know i moved out of hostel um after my third year um then i started renting my own place and i had all these plans like by the time i finish uni i want to have a fully furnished apartment which by the way i actually did like just finished this December, but yeah, and I have a furnished apartment. It's not fully furnished the way I would want it, but honestly, like I have a bed, I have where to stay, I have a couch, blah blah blah. Story for another day. Back to this point. I, I, I was like, you know what? I want to have all this figured out. I was saving, I was investing heavily, I was working my ass off, I was working a nine to five hmm? for two entire years, two or three. No, two years, nine to five for two years during while doing an engineering course. Ask me where that energy came to do that. Like I was basically going to work in the morning from hostel or from my house uh, or from my apartment. But that was like in third year, and I was going to work nine to five going to campus after discussing going for practicals studying over the weekend trying to have a social life trying to you know it, like everything was just like it was a lot but for some reason i was like holding it together when i tell you that the past couple of months i feel like i just can't hold anything together like i don't know why like god knows i need that energy that i had to be able to work a nine to five while studying a full-time engineering degree and still doing businesses left right center I, i'm always those people I've, I've looked for the money in kampala <laughs> i've been chasing the bag honestly if any of you find the bag please tell it i've been chasing it for a while hmm? so i need that kind of energy because i am just there you know trying to figure out what exactly i want to do with my life like i feel like i am on a thread and like each decision I make, you know, previously we we're making decisions. Like when I was doing all my hobbies, like I was doing makeup, like as a side business, you know, aside from school, I was like, yeah, I'm doing makeup, or I'm doing this too. And suddenly it's like, I have to do these things to actually pay me to pay my bills. The dynamic changes, like, like, okay, hold up, hold up. I thought we had prepared for this movement. Like, what happened? Like. For some reason it's been so hard to like get everything together but yeah like you're constantly trying to find out your purpose and i feel like that's the biggest i call it the gray phase because you honestly don't know what the f is going on what the f you're doing with your life i don't want to say the actual word but like you actually don't know what's going on you're trying to figure it out but you're not sure what exactly you want to figure out and being a multi-potentialite um, that's like when you're able to do like uh, several things like um i mean I, i'm a makeup artist bubbles glam i'm an environmental engineer and then i'm an event planner and then i'm a youtuber like yeah you know they say don't put all your eggs in the same basket i feel like i've put my baskets everywhere <laughs> 
but then still having several baskets is also like a blessing and a curse at the same time so for me my gray space after campus it's just like I, I just wish there was like um, a visible sign, like I could see a billboard and know like what exactly I should be putting my energy in, you know, like what exactly should I be doing? Because first of all, um, the ideal thing after campus is look for a job. Friends, when I tell you that the four year degree, first of all, became a five year degree because of COVID. I mean, I was supposed to be finished with... um university with uni last year in june ideally may may june april may june latest and then corona I was like no sis <laughs> you is not finishing so i'm like okay i hold it together let me finish in december eventually and up to now we have no results um my fellow i was at chambogo university and people in my year who went to Macquarie University have results people are planning graduation some people have had parties already even and they have no results and that's also frustrating like you can't even get a provision or transcript from the university to apply for jobs or apply for scholarships or apply for masters or whatever it is that I would probably want to do because there are so many missing marks from like a uh, third year and then we don't have fourth year marks. So I can't even get credit, like I can't even get a provision or transcript to submit for anything. So that makes looking looking for a job harder. Like it makes it harder to look for a job. Mm -hmm. it makes it harder to apply for unis. I makes it harder to basically like, and also just like the mental capacity it takes, like it's just like, I know I passed. <laughs> But like you don't know until you actually know like you want to see your name on the graduation list and get done with that and move on with your life So this gray phase I feel like I've been finding it hard to move on Because I actually don't know what what direction I'm going in like I'm moving on to what exactly and then we're going older and then my age this year just makes me like anxious also so it's like everything just hitting me left right center and then the responsibility and then i have bills to pay and then i want to invest in my businesses and then i like <sighs> it's exhausting it honestly is but it can get really tight and i just wanted to basically talk i don't like just talk about it because this is something we don't address and i know so many people are going through it and in, of course we go through it at different capacities different levels um, our problems could be different but especially that phase of trying to find like your purpose after school because you notice from when you grow up like your purpose has always been school you are in kindergarten and then you're in primary school and then you're in high school and then you're in university so then after that it's like the world of possibilities is up for grabs and you just have to choose which part you grab and you don't know what to grab what and then you also don't want to waste time doing something that could not work out because suddenly it's like there is actually no time to waste i don't know if you know what i mean but it's like the clock is ticking and then there's this pressure to have all our, our like there's this pressure that us in the 20s usually have like to like have everything figured out by 30 which is actually wrong because come to think of it 30 is actually not old like it's not so old like it's not old it's just a societal standard that we have all set like suddenly when you're 30 okay like by 30 you have must have be driving you must have your house you must be uh, having a stable job yeah i mean if that happens well and good but then if it doesn't i don't think like we should beat up ourselves about it the person talking actually i do beat myself up about it but i know i'm not supposed to like i just try to do what i can every day i'm giving everything my best shot i am just like you know what um you worked so hard for several years i've gotten to where i am and there's still so many goals and things i want to accomplish i don't know what exactly to do and it's been like it can get, it gets, can get frustrating but for me my biggest remedy in all this honestly has been god like 
for me it's just god like i just i just keep like i am always constantly praying to god like oh god give me a sign show me what i should be doing you know make things work if it's a uh, going for a scholarship if it's going to study a master's then make that work if it's getting a job lord father let the job present itself let it be available if it's my business lord father let it boom but then what if i also want every bit because i also don't want to like job like not look for a job and focus on my business because also the business requires capital to invest in it and like yo it's, it's just it's just it's just a lot it's just a lot like it really is just a lot but <sighs> at the end of the day i just keep doing what i can and i pray and also i have a support i have a very <laughs> a very strong support system my mother my friends uh my cousins my sisters uh my boyfriend like I have a very 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 huge support system and that also like keeps me going because it can honestly get too much when you're in your head especially in this gray phase after campus because and if you it's even worse if you're staying at home because there are times when i am at home and i'm not working on any client and i'm not going to any job and one day two days and I'm that kind of person who is to always, I'm used to having something going on for myself, like, every time. Like, I'm not used to, like, just know last year was weird. Like, the whole lockdown season, it took a while to adjust it to lockdown. Like, you mean I am at home and I am just at home. Like, I really don't know what it means to just be at home. Like, uh, as far as I can remember, I have always been on the grind like always i'm always up to something so when i'm sitting home for like two days i'm just like this is weird why am i sitting home but then it's like okay so i do what and you know trying to also find out what you want to do with your life and figure out your purpose and all you can reach a point where you actually just don't do anything because you actually don't know what to do or there is no energy and then it has a lot to do with your mental health like you have to call it's a constant battle like in the head in this time because i mean you're seeing there's also that pressure that comes in that society pressure eh? is that society pressure you know you're seeing your peers your friends you know people have graduated as we're doing for your courses when our friends we went to high school with graduated ones we did three-year courses and the rest of us were doing engineering law what we're like ah it's okay y'all have graduated now that i'm seeing my fellow friends who did four year courses graduating and i am still there no transcript no bugs i'm just like um okay like okay and then you start seeing your friends driving and getting amazing jobs and people are doing things people are traveling people are living their best lives that car pressure can also like get to you but it's okay to also be in the gray space because I feel like sometimes life or God will like take you like, okay, for me, this is just basically how I see it. Like I need certain seasons to like set back, step away from the world, think, recollect, and then go back in full swing. So yeah, I've been going through that gray phase, that gray space. Like I do what next, but then I've also learned to like just breathe. Because then my mental health was also going down the rail in its own ways, which is also not okay. But yeah, I was just like, breathe, think, do what you can. Like, I do what I can each day. Like, if your friends are doing certain things, you know, if you're going, like, don't let the society pressure get to you, okay? Like, you're going to see things happening for people. You're going to see people moving at a different pace. And you're like, mm, 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 mm. and me? you know but then again do what you can like every day like a step closer to your dream like just make sure you're doing something because also when you completely do nothing and sit at home it's so easy to get into your mind to get into your head to have all these bad thoughts and all these evil thoughts and to just feel like you're a failure or you're not going anywhere but if you just like try to keep yourself active just small things even like taking walks and listening to a podcast writing i do journal a lot i have like a thousand notebooks all over my house like, i'm just obsessed with books and cute pens and cute books and just cute things but 
yeah i journal a lot i listen to podcasts i always try to find things to occupy my time i'm on youtube a lot i am on instagram i am on tiktok i'm trying to find inspiration and also like using this time to develop new skills and to learn different things so yeah yeah i can't honestly say i don't know are you if are you going i don't know have you been through for those of you who have like finished university and all and have managed to go through the gray phase successfully like how did you manage it how did you handle it especially when you don't have a job yet when you don't have a job yet or if you have no business or if you just they are trying to figure it out like how have you managed to cope how have you managed to move past it if you're going through it now um how are you going through it because maybe you can share in the comments your experience and honestly how maybe it could help someone else out there who has just finished campus or finished university and is just there like where do i start from like okay suddenly you are, you've been used to being in school and now it's like you've just been sent out into the world and you're like you don't know what the hell you're supposed to do yeah but regardless of what's going on just keep having faith i always have faith i have i have pictured this life that i want to have these fancy things the trips and that's what keeps me going and that's what keeps me pushing every day i keep doing the little that i can every day i pray a lot i make sure to meet up with friends to have a good laugh to you know get your mind off things once in a while i'll run my ideas by my friends or just pray over them or my mom like yeah it's difficult but you honestly have to learn how to manage it because how you get out of it is what actually matters the most, you know, because it's also easy to have a pity party on yourself and be like, you know what, things are not working out right now, I'm just going to sleep. But then again, if you sleep, then who's going to chase after your dreams? How are you going to have that fancy lifestyle if you're not working for it? Yeah, so that's basically it. Let me know in the comments if you've been through the gray phase of campus, how you handled it, was it so bad? Like how you handled it, any advice you can give. Yeah, and also don't forget to support Bubbles Glam. I did this amazing face beat and I've honestly been so scared like to do certain face beats, especially topic for another day really, especially like having hooded eyes and all but it's really 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 cute so support my business if you want makeup for any function i am ready to travel let me know i also do events planning for lotus events with my sisters so we do events planning event ma management we do deco and all that if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe and keep sharing my videos i love you all thank you so much for the support till next time Good night.